if I find in myself a desire which no experience in this world can satisfy the most probable explanation is that I was made for another world. Christianity, if false, is of no importance, and if true, of infinite importance, the only thing it cannot be is moderately important. Courage is not simply one of the virtues, but the form of every virtue at the testing point. The safest road to hell is the gradual one, the gentle slope, soft underfoot, without sudden turnings, without milestones, without signposts. You can't get a cup of tea big enough, or a book long enough to suit me. Nothing that you have not given away will ever be really yours. No one ever told me that grief felt so like fear. Nothing is more dangerous to one's own faith than the work of an apologist. No doctrine of that faith seems to me so spectral, so unreal as one that I have just successfully defended in a public debate. Always try to use the language so as to make quite clear what you mean and make sure your sentence couldn't mean anything else. A dogmatic belief in objective value is necessary to the very idea of a rule which is not tyranny or an obedience, which is not slavery. Part of every misery is, so to speak, the misery's shadow or reflection, the fact that you don't merely suffer but have to keep on thinking about the fact that you suffer. I not only live each endless day in grief, but live each day, thinking about living each day in grief. The real problem is not why some pious, humble, believing people suffer, but why some do not. Miracles do not, in fact, break the laws of nature. It's so much easier to pray for a boar than to go and see one. Don't use words to beg for the subject. Don't say infinitely when you mean very, otherwise you'll have no word left. When you want to talk about something really infinite, reason is the natural order of truth, but imagination is the organ of meaning. Literature adds to reality. It does not simply describe it. It enriches the necessary competencies that daily life requires and provides, and in this respect, it irrigates the deserts that our lives have already become. Always prefer the plain direct word to the long, vague one. Don't implement promises, but keep them. Some people feel guilty about their anxieties and regard them as a defect of faith, but they are afflictions, not sins, like all afflictions. They are, if we can so take them, our share in the passion of Christ. Has this world been so kind to you that you should leave? With regret, there are better things ahead than any we leave behind. Friendship is unnecessary, like philosophy, like art. It has no survival value. Rather, it is one of those things that give value to survival. Aim at heaven, and you will get earth thrown in. Aim at earth, and you get neither. If you look for truth, you may find comfort in the end. If you look for comfort, you will not get either comfort or truth only soft soap and wishful thinking to begin and in the end despair. Failures, repeated failures, are finger posts on the road to achievement. One fails forward toward success. We all want progress, but if you're on the wrong road, Progress means doing an about turn and walking back to the right road. In that case, 
The man who turns back soonest is the most progressive. Affection is responsible for nine-tenths of whatever solid and durable happiness there is in our lives. Joy is the serious business of heaven. A man who is eating or lying with his wife or preparing to go to sleep in humility, thankfulness, and temperance is by Christian standards in an infinitely higher state than one who is listening to Bach or reading Plato in a state of pride. History isn't just the story of bad people doing bad things, it's quite as much a story of people trying to do good things, but somehow something goes wrong. A young man who wishes to remain a sound, atheist cannot be too careful of his reading. Telling us to obey instinct is like telling us to obey people. People say different things, so do instincts. Our instincts are at war, each instinct. If you listen to it, will claim to be gratified at the expense of the rest. I sometimes wonder whether all pleasures are not substitutes for joy. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our channel for more videos. Goodbye.